All right, today we're gonna to talk about a move that can be done in your living room, okay? You don't need a gym for this. You just need your body and a little understanding, okay? This move brings a lot of energy into people's lives and it's something that everybody that comes to us will go through. It's called a split squat. It looks like a lunge. You would probably call this a lunge, but because my feet aren't moving, it's a squat. We're just going up and down. A lunge would be like, I'm lunging in reverse. This is a reverse lunge, and this is a forward lunge because I'm lunging in that direction. Okay, it's in the name of the move. This is a split squat, and it's, it's geared for you to kind of like learn how to be strong a little bit, okay? Now, we're gonna, I'm just gonna do a few and talk to you about it, all right? We have about a good width. You don't wanna be too wide, then it doesn't make sense. And you don't wanna be too narrow because you can see that it just doesn't look right. Even if you were in those positions, you'd still be working, but we wanna do this optimally. Just being in this position might challenge your balance a little bit, so you can even like hold on to a chair. Okay, when you come down, it's the front leg that we're working. And common belief is that you don't want your knee to pass your toe. Now, if you can see, that's what that would look like. But over the years, I, I don't know, within the past 10 years or so, trainers and coaches have understood that this is actually how your joints operate in this ankle flexion, knee flexion, and hip flexion. So if I were to have you come and stand in this position and try to talk to me, your leg would start to burn in one rep. We'll put force into the ground, working through your heel, which will allow you to work your glute a little more. This is where people kind of go wrong a little bit. They have a hard time working through their heel. Their tendency is to want to plant our flex, but we want to try to keep the heel down and go right back up into gravity. So there's a couple things to focus on. One, try to stay balanced. If you lose your balance, that's the worst thing that happens, okay? With your body weight, with your feet about hip width apart, you're gonna let your center of gravity, or center of mass, travel with the flexion of your ankle, your knee, and your hip. Maybe pause, and then come back up into gravity. That's one. But then go right back down. I challenge you, to try to do 10 reps on each side. Rest for a minute, do it again. Try to do three sets and see how your legs feel. Check your heart rate. Your heart, my heart's beating right now just from demonstrating, okay? This is one of the best ways for us to help our clients start to understand how to be strong, and I hope you can do it too.